Are you interested in learning how to flip a mobile home, but aren't even sure if it's worth it financially? That's what we're gonna to cover today. Flipping mobile homes or just buying a mobile home, what to do, what not to do, and what to be aware of. My name is Mark Kaiser. I'm one of the lead brokers in the mobile home dealer. We're a brokerage firm selling used mobile homes all throughout the Southeast of the United States. In the past couple of years, we've sold several hundred mobile homes. And I'll tell you, we've certainly learned a lot here at the office. And I wanna share what we have learned so that you can be a better educated buyer or seller of a mobile home, mobile home park, or anything that has to do with the mobile home industry. Make sure you stick around towards the end as we're gonna cover five different items that you need to be aware of when you're buying an, a mobile home for an investment opportunity. But at the very end, I saved my best one for last. So make sure you stick around for the pro tip and uh, you'll definitely be happy that you did so. If you are finding any type of value in any one of our videos, whether it's this video or other videos, please do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel below so that you're part of the mobile home dealer community and that you're up to speed with everything that we have going on in the mobile home dealer itself. With that said, I had, before we get started, I do have a couple of disclaimers. Number one, this is not financial advice, okay? What you do with your money is your money. Do not go and buy a mobile home for an investment and all of a sudden it not work out and you blame the guy on YouTube. Don't do that. Your money, your decision, you decide if you wanna do this or not. Number two, this list that we're putting together today is not gonna be for the following people. People who don't wanna take risk. People who want to go ahead and buy a mobile home and doll it up and they don't really care if they make money or lose money. Maybe they're doing it for a hobby. That's fine, but this list, it's probably not gonna be for you because we're gonna stress the main things that we need to look for when you're buying a mobile home for an investment purpose and focusing on the big three items, which is gonna be making your home safe, clean, and affordable. So if you wanna make it look like a magazine, God love you, have at it. But this list probably isn't really gonna be for you as we wanna make sure that we're getting in and we're getting out and we're providing a nice, clean home for the next owner. With that being said, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, this is gonna be a very brief list. It's not gonna be all inclusive, but I do wanna get into it, unpack those five items, as well as the bonus tip at the end, and give you as much value as possible with this video. Number one, what are other homes selling for in the community? If you are going to a community and you're gonna buy a mobile home for an investment purpose, and for this entire video, let's just say you're gonna buy it with the sole intention of buying it, fixing it up, and reselling it for profit, okay? That's, let's just assume we're doing this for everything in the video. What are other homes that are similar to your home that you're looking at buying, selling for, okay? So let's give you an example. If other homes in the community that are two bed, two bathroom, double wide mobile homes are selling for $40,000 and you have uh, the dream of buying something and fixing it up and selling it for $100,000, that, that's gonna be a far stretch because you're already pricing yourself out of the market that is going on with the park itself. The whole idea of you don't wanna be the most expensive home in the neighborhood that we've all heard for years in real estate, it reigns true here in the mobile home park oh so much. So make sure you understand what are other homes selling for in that park. Number two, what is lot rent for that park? Understand the exact price, not for uh, just any home in that park, for that exact home, okay? Even if you're buying this home in cash, which a lot of people do. I always refer to lot rent as kind of the silent mortgage. Sure, you don't have a mortgage payment, but you do have that lot rent payment every month. So make sure that you're budgeting that in your entire budget for going and flipping a mobile home. That is important. I will also add to this to say that if you're buying a mobile home in a park and you have by far the most expensive lot rent in either the town, the county, or the area of the state that you're in, that may be great, may be awesome because you've got all these great amenities. But if you don't go and hire a mobile home broker, such as the mobile home dealer, to sell your house, okay, and you go and do it on your own, you're gonna have to explain that to all the other buyers why they should buy your home in the most expensive neighborhood. So make sure you're understanding of that. The third one, make sure you understand what state the main three components of a mobile home are in. Okay, so in our videos, we've, uh, previous videos, we've discussed this. I'll run through it very quickly right now. That are gonna, that's gonna be the roof. Is the roof leaking? Is it falling apart? Does it need a new roof? What's the story with the roof? Number two, the AC unit. Does it have central AC? Does it work? Has it been serviced? Is it blowing out? Does it have window shakers? What's going on with that AC? Number three, is there mold there? 
Can you see it on the wall? Are there critters or termites on the floor? Do you fall through the floor? These are all things that we can joke about, but I'm being dead serious, that you need to make sure that you understand those items. Because if you have a bad, leaky roof, and you just think, oh, just patch the roof, no, nah, you probably got mold in there too. Okay, so you know you, that, that's a whole other can of worms uh, that I'm not sure you really want to open if you're trying to be quick and efficient and profitable with this. Again, throughout this entire video, remember, safe, clean, and affordable housing is what we're looking to provide the customer who's looking to buy your house. So make sure you understand what's going on with the roof, the AC, the critters, and that mold. Four, understand your material costs. Okay, now we're going to get a little bit of a businessy conversation here. Your material costs. If you're going to go and just put paint and carpet on the house, no big deal. You can buy that stuff at um, uh, you know, Home Depot, Lowe's, uh, Habitat for Humanity, discount hardware stores. You can grab that. You mix it up. As long as it's good paint or good carpet, you can throw it down and it's probably going to work. But if you were going to uh, change anything like the doors or um, uh, any type of the windows, those are going to be specialty items you're more than likely going to have to go to a specialty mobile home only parts store. One of them I would suggest that we've had great success with in the office is going to be a place called the Mobile Home Depot. They have several locations. I'm not a paid sponsor or anything, but they do, they do a very nice job with uh, providing those items. Sure, you can probably buy a door or a window at Home Depot, but a lot of times you're probably going to have to modify that, shave it down to get it to fit perfectly. That's going to cost you time and money. So make sure before you ever buy a house, get an idea of what you want to fix, what you don't want to fix, and what those costs are. Number five, as we've discussed throughout the, a lot of this, uh, the, the, these items here, the, the costs that we're discussing, we can't control. We can't really control what the products are or what, what the, what the uh, material cost is. Can't really control what the lot rent is, but you can control what you pay for the house. You're not looking to steal a house. You're not looking to um, take advantage of anyone uh, at all. We do not advocate uh, that at all, but we do advocate 100% making sure you get a good deal. So put on your negotiator hat, get a good deal, okay? Things are more expensive today now than they have been. We all know that. Mobile homes are no uh, exception. But with that being said, do not overpay for your investment. Don't do it. There's going to be a lot of other things that are going to come up. And if you can control that initial purchase on your investment, control it. All right, we made it this far. We're almost to the Mark Pro tip uh, for the video. But before we get there, we want to go ahead and do a quick review of the five things we've discussed so far to make sure that if you decide to flip a mobile home and for profit, that you are indeed profitable. So real quick, make sure you know what other homes in that community are selling for? Not the community down the street or the community two counties over. No, no, no. That community. Number two, what's the lot rent for that exact exact house? Get the, get the exact dollar figure. Get it from the parking manager or the park owner. Get that detail because that's important. Number three, what repairs are needed for the home? Specifically, the roof, the AC, the mold, and the critters. Make sure you know what's going on with that. Number four, what are your expected material costs? How much are they? Go to the specialty parts store if you're gonna start swapping out doors or windows. Get an idea for what those cost. Add that into your budget. Number five, make sure you can control everything that you can, specifically the price of the purchase of the home. The price of the purchase, I said that. The purchase price of the home. Make sure you control that, get a good deal. Don't steal it from anyone. Make sure you, you put your negotiator hat on. So with that being said, I'm uh, I'm really getting to the uh, the best stuff that I've the, the, that I got. And this is the Mark Pro tip. This is the big one that we see uh, novice uh, novice investors or uh, um, really just homeowners too. They kind of goof on this one as well. So I'll kind of let the cat out of the bag. This is one of my best one liners, uh, best facts of the entire industry. So I'll kind of go off script here and and, and look past my notes. <clears throat> What's definitely going to doom you for failure if you're looking to do this is if you don't run the mobile home business, uh, the mobile home flip, as a business. If you do this as a hobby, just because you want something to do, you got extra time in your hands and you want to make, you make it a piece of art and you frankly don't care if you make any money or if you lose money, great, have at it. God love you. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll have the time to do that. But if you're looking to do this and make some money or you're looking to do this and just buy a home, maybe because you have a limited budget and you're looking to do some fix-ups and actually live in the house, make sure you run this like a business. Now, what do I mean? Well, let me explain. Track all expenses. Track them all, okay? Now, it's easy to sit there and say, well, I spent this for the house and I spent this for materials. So this is about what I have in it. 
No, it's not going to work. Make sure you factor in uh, the lot rent. Make sure you factor in if you had to hire an electrician or a plumber. Uh, make sure you have to factor in, you know, if you hired a demo crew. Um, uh, all the trips back and forth to Home Depot, what was your mileage? How much did you spend on fuel? All those days where you went and got pizza or, or snacks or something, what did those cost? Keep the receipts. Factor that all in at the very end, and that's actually going to be what your all-in budget is. Okay, uh, your expense rather. Too many times I see people and I talk to these first time investors who come to us for advice all the time and, and they'll say, well, wh what's, a, what's a percentage of profit? You know, what's my ROI, return on investment? And that's a loaded question. That's a loaded question I'll save for another video. But what I really will tell you for this video is that <clears throat> you really wanna make sure that you're running this as a business. I know we like to joke around on this channel and have a good time, but when we talk about numbers and we talk about doing this for profit or doing this because this is your home, it's not a time to play games, guys. It is not. So make sure you're following every dollar and then making sure that you decide if this is a good decision or a bad decision to do this for you. I will tell you with a 100% experience, flipping mobile homes or mobile homes, you know, getting involved in that, it can certainly be very lucrative. I know several investors who do quite well with it. I also know several investors who've lost their shirt. The reoccurring theme on all this is they did not follow the first five steps. If they lost their shirt and if they are walking around with no shirt on, they certainly did not run this like a business. So if you're looking to do this, is it profitable? Yeah, you bet. Is it profitable in, a, in an expensive market like today? Yeah, yeah, you, you're darn right it is. I know I have some investors who subscribe to the channel who can vouch for that. But if you are going to do this, make sure you're smart, you understand what you're getting involved in, and you understand that this is a business. This is not time to joke around and play around with your numbers. So I hope this has helped you, and I hope this has benefited you uh, folks quite a bit. If you found any value in it, please, again, do us a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, like the video, become a part of the mobile home dealer community as we certainly enjoy seeing it expand and grow as we continue to put out content. My name is Mark Kaiser. Thank you so much for joining us in this video. I'll see you all on the next one.